what to wear today, and I settled on yellow. It's like Blue Man Group, but I'm a single man, um, yellow man single. Um, I bought myself some glasses recently. Uh, my observational comedy improved. People who wear glasses look smart, but you have to fail a test to get them. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing a splint. Um, this depends on who's asking. Most of the time I just say I was boxing because it makes me sound tough and manly. But the truth, the truth is that um, it was at the Time Zone Arcade and it was on the boxing machine. <laughs> it was the first date. Insult to injury, she didn't want a second date. Uh, I invited my date to open mic tonight. Um, she, uh, and I implored her, please laugh at my jokes if no one else does. She replied, she replied, fake laugh on first date. Lol, I miss the good old days when women, women only have to fake orgasm. <laughs> uh, political, correctness is every, political correctness is everywhere these days. Instead of asking if someone is Chinese, you have to go through five layers um, uh, to find out, to ask a simple question. Where were you born? Camberdown Hospital. Where are you from? Northern Beaches. Where are you from originally? I've lived in Sydney my whole life. Do you visit your parents? Do you visit your relatives in China? My grandparents live in Milsons Point. What is your parents' ethnic background? My parents are Chinese. Um, the only con to being Asian is um, well, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, they greet you in Chinese. Ni hao, hello. Di wei, how many people do you have? You reply in Chinese. Liang wei, because it's natural. But now you're locked in. You can't go back to speaking English. It's too late now. So. When they ask you what you want to order, the menu is in Chinese, but you suddenly realize there's English translations. You fumble around and look at the menu, and then you point at what you want to eat, looking at the pictures to find what you want to eat. You say, Nega, Tega, Tega, this one, that one. They know you're not fluent by now, but they keep the whole charade to as not to call you out. Uh, I taught a medical doctor chess on, um, for our first date. And um, after the date, she said, uh, hey, I don't want to date you anymore, but can you still te teach me chess? That's right, girls, I'm that good. <laughs> uh, I once went on a date with a girl and I didn't think it went that well, so I texted her afterwards for feedback. Uh, this is a very bad move. You never want to ask for feedback if you didn't think the date didn't go well. It can only hurt you. So she replied, um, I think you have a lot, of, uh, a lot of growing in terms of manners and etiquette. This was awkward because I was about to say the same thing about her. But now I've changed my mind because we have so much in common. Uh, a few months ago, I went on a date with a crazy dog lady. Um, she said no to me because she said I gave her little brother vibes. Um, so later, um, I got a, a few months later, I got a puppy and I posted puppy photos on uh, social media. Uh, and then she commented on a photo of the dog and she's like, oh my God, we should get married. Well, last time I checked, it's illegal to marry a dog in Australia. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. That's all I have for today.